man is killed in a house fire in southeast Houston. Investigators now looking into the cause. Chelsea Edwards is live at the scene with what we know so far. Chelsea? Hey, uh, Sally and Melissa, we're going into the eighth hour that Houston firefighters have been here. They tell us this was not an easy fire to put out, and what made this emergency response even more difficult uh, was that it took three searches of this one-story home over here uh, for them to find the person who had died inside. Now, it was around 11 o'clock last night when the Houston fire were called to this house fire on Wenda Street near Reed Road and MLK Boulevard. 32 fire Firefighters were out here fighting those uh, flames. Uh, the, uh, firefighters were told that somebody was possibly trapped inside. They went in and did their search first, uh, their first search of the house, but they did not find anyone at that time. They went back for a second search and then a third. During that third search, they were able to locate a man who had died, believed to be in his 60s. They say he was inside a bedroom that was uh, crowded with belongings. With the drop in temperatures outside, firefighters were asked if this fire could have been started by a heater. Not right now, any fire with this type of temperature, we're, that's that tends to be one of our, our primary concerns. And uh, folks are trying to keep themselves warm. It's always an issue. We want to make sure that we always uh, preach uh, heater safety. Uh, right now, we have our investigators investigating whether or not uh, heaters were found. We do not have that information yet. All right, so just a reminder, uh, as we are waiting to find out the cause of this fire, if you do turn on those heaters, make sure that there is nothing uh, flammable within three feet or anywhere near the heater, preferably. Uh, we're told that no one else was in the home at the time. No firefighters were injured. Of course, we'll give you updates as we get them. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Chelsea Edwards, Fox 26 News.